Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, I put a trick up the other day, and them that seen it will know what trick I am on about just by looking at them. Them that haven't seen the trick, link in the description box will take you to the performance of it. Yeah, I will leave another link taking you to the tutorial as well. Why not? I'm a kind guy. See if you're searching for it, right? Now, this is just alternative handling, so if you haven't seen the trick, this might not make any sense to you. Um, I'm doing it to try and help some people out, because I did read some of the comments, and some people were going to struggle. Um, one fella in particular, I know he's got bad arthritis in his hands, I, and I apologise, because I'm going to make a mess of your surname. John Nigg. His surname spelled N G. I'm no good at names without vowels. I'm no good at names with vowels. And I'm a postman. How sad is that? So I do apologise, mate, if I've said your name completely wrong. I do apologise. But at least you know who I am talking about. This might help you out a bit. Because the other moves in it are a bit tricky for people with arthritis in the things. I know I struggled and mine's not as severe as what yours is. So we're going to do it using the Hammond count. Right, so I'm just going to show you the moves. I'm not going through the trick. You know the trick, right? You start off. You say you're going to reverse the order of the packet. So you do it as a ham and count, and reverse the order of the cards. But you don't because you keep the cards running in the same way. That is the easy one. All you're doing is taking the ace into that hand, putting the two onto the top of it, swapping the packet. So I've now got the three, four, and five in order in that hand. The ace and the two in this hand with the two on the top and the ace underneath. And if you don't believe me, there's the ace on the bottom with the two on the top. And all you're doing is reversing them. So I'll put your cards back into the right order. Whereas your spectator thinks they're in the reversed order. Right? And that's steps one, two and three. Covered because, as you know, they use the same move. Having it in a ham and count also makes it easier for you to do that and flip your cards over. Say if you haven't hold of them in a grip for um, uh, Elmsley count and trying to do it neatly, keeping all of these together as you're doing it, which is a bit of a headache, right? So it helps out in that one as well because it's easier to flip the cards that way, as you can see, yeah? So that's steps one, two and three. Then you come to the step where you've just gone and shuffled your packet up a little bit. Right. Again, them that have seen the trick know what I mean by the shuffle. But it ends up putting your cards in two ace three four uh, two ace three five four order, as you can see. Two ace three five four. Again, using your Hammond count, all you're going to do is strip off the top card, strip off the next card, come back in, kick the bottom card into your hand, like that. You can just look like, see that there, yeah. Picking up them two cards and keeping that bottom card with it. Splitting these two by a little pinky pull down. Picking that card up and taking the top card off and putting them onto the top. And from having them in a mixed up order and in the process of just doing a reverse to reverse the mixed up order, you're going to put them back into the correct position. Right, I'll do that one again. Nice and slow. You know, I should have had my camera this way. Would have made it a damn sight easy for you to follow. Yeah, <clears throat> bit too late now. I uh, do apologise. I'll remember. I'll uh, keep forgetting about doing that. So I've got them in two ace three five four. You're taking the two off. You're taking the ace off and putting it on top of the two. So they are now in the correct order. You're kicking the bottom card out, which is your four, into this hand, and you're taking the three and the five away into this hand, like that. So I've now got the four, the two, and the ace in that hand. The four, the ace, and the two in that hand. And I've got the three and the five in this hand. So now, well, it stands to reason what's happening here. I'm getting a pinky pull down on the five, because I'm going to steal the three back and put it on into the two, as I peel the four off and put it on top of the five. So now I've got the four and the five in order there. I've got the one, two, and three in order here, ready just to drop onto the top. To get them into the right order. Like so. 
it's just an alternative way of doing it an, e an easier handling for anybody who's struggling with the other moves last move again strip the top off strip the second one off onto the top of it use your fingers just to kick the bottom card out into your hand as you take the two cards out of your hand taking the other two cards off the top of this one into that hand as you can see pinky pull down on the bottom card take the bottom card back as you peel the top card off and drop them onto the top and jobs are good robert is your father's brother as they say i just hope it makes it easier for a lot of you i do try and help I want you all to become top music magicians. You can be a musician as well if you want to. But I'm trying to help you to become top mu magicians. Unlike Mr. Soft Guy here who just sits here and plays with his cards. I do hope it was useful. Um, thank you very much for watching. John, I do apologise if I've got your name wrong, my friend. I do. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon.